That ride is fucking lightning. Hey, piss. Look who it is. Shrunken cophead material. What about them? Well, first off, it's a statement and not necessarily something that characterizes me as a person, even though the statement has character. And I do like piss. The word piss f epitomizes the struggle taking place in the world. Things being defined as they seem, not as they are. And, I guess, it's also about communal spirit, the future, and truly appreciating our differences. Also, you've got to admit, it catches the eye. And since the Grand Piper is slowly but steadily moving towards basing the economy on it, attention, it is imperative that the medium itself convey the message. What I mean by this is, we are all piss f and that the world is inherently meaningless. It seems that the young man has a certain expertise in at least one field, even if it's rather narrow. Like I said before, many men keep searching for the one, for so-called true love, which is actually just obsession masquerading as kinship. The thrill of the chase, the hollowness that fills your chest cavity after catching it. I'm wondering if the poetics come with the jacket, or are they derived from something else entirely? To catch a fish, you'll need to hurl the law many times, and even then it isn't certain that you'll get anything. If you blow up the lake, though, you get more fish in a shorter time. And, for time is of the essence and fleeting ever so quickly, one must think of a way to fuck the whole world and not get caught up in fucking someone. Because when one fucks everything, he fucks nothing. And that, to me, feels glorious. Sticking your dick into the void. Hate to admit it, but in a weird way, he's got a point. Is it a coincidence that here we have two badass jackets and two badass cops? Yes. What is? What are you implying? I'm not sure I understand you, detective. Neither. Fine, if only to end this discussion. Theoretically, if I were a juvenile delinquent, if I were to already be down that path, I think peace is the stronger of the two statements. Seems about right, especially considering your heroic exit attempts. That's an origin story for a dynamic duo right there. So are we done here? Or... You don't need us around for your secret whisper party, do you? No, no, no. Don't ask anything. Be subtle and scary. The boys dream about being skulls. Use that. What? No! Skulls don't have kings. I think. And we're not even in yet. Yeah, man, keep your voice down. Skulls don't take it lightly when folks pretend to be them. We're not even prospects yet. Prospect must be a hierarchical term. Probably in the lower end. Wow, you boys are ambitious. Only prospects and already planning a coup in the skulls. You're destined to go far. He gets it. Passive aggressive flattery. Shut the fuck up. Are you trying to get us killed? Now bring it to the jackets and, yes, start shouting. Please be quiet. What? What do you want? The, the jackets? You got it. No need for cruelty. Oh, man. Okay. I get it. Skulls don't really wear slogans anyway. This was stupid. Fuck. The lieutenant watches the boys take their jackets off with mild amusement. I'm absolutely okay with not having either one, thank you. I already am expressing my individuality. I'm not. I don't have a jacket anymore. Good. I wanted you not to express yours. Cold-hearted cop. The need will not arise. Oh, the need will arise. 
Here's how we'll do it. As soon as this conversation is done, you put on the fuck the world jacket. We'll take it from there. I don't know, Eric. It's cold out. Yeah, let's get out of here. The cops fucked us. Good. Step one complete. Now, let the lieutenant feast his eyes on the fruits of the Tree of Cool. Very rock and roll. But is now really the time? You've got to work your way into this thing. The subtle way. Wind him up a little. Don't immediately go for the kill. Subtle, like the aesthetic cacophony the two of you are making right now. Look at this shit. The visual fields make no sense. You're like a pair of white socks in brown sandals right now. It's disgusting. Detective, what are you talking about? Plow ahead. Don't let him slow you down. Hmm. This is one of those times where you're just going to keep talking no matter what I say, isn't it? A long moment passes as the lieutenant considers his words. Never has anyone asked me to place more trust in them than you are asking of me right now. If you saw this branch out from under me while I've got peace faggot written on my back, I'm afraid the RCM is going to have our asses for this. With a look of utter disbelief, the lieutenant slips into the jacket. The problem is, it really does look cool to have both of these jackets on right now. That's what I'm afraid of. We better solve this thing fast. Let's be clear about one thing. The first chance I get, these things coming off. And that will be it. No take-backs, no follow-up conversations. That's it. Do you understand? He means it. The moment your jacket comes off, so does his. That means you're probably going to have to keep fucking the world till the end of days. All right, fuck. Time to solve a murder. As counterintuitive as it might seem in these jackets. Let's go. <laughs> 